Hello, and welcome to Food and Vino. This series is dedicated to different American cuisine paired with Italian wines. I'm your host, Tony Polzer, and today we are at the U.S. Embassy with Gunnery Sergeant Kino here and his men. Hey, Tony, how are you? Good, and yourself? Good I'm to see you. great, thank you. Okay, so today's episode is dedicated to the 4th of July. Now, since it is the 4th of July coming up in a few days, we're doing the typical dishes that most Americans are going to have on a typical 4th of July celebration or any summer cookout for that matter. So we have hamburgers, we have hot dogs, potato salad, as well as even a watermelon salad as well. Now for the hamburgers, I'd like to give you a little bit of history first. We don't really know where it comes from. It could be from Hamburg, Germany. It could be from Chicago. Who knows, really? But it, late 1800s, more or less, is when the hamburger came into effect. Now, the hamburger became famous at the World's Fair in 1904. Now, with the hamburger, we're going to be pairing that Primitivo from Puglia. Puglia being the heel of the boot of Italy. So what we're looking at here is that a Primitivo has lots of body, which would go very, very well with the complex flavors of a hamburger. In addition to that, it doesn't have a lot of tannins. It has enough to match up with the beef, but not enough to overpower the delicate nature of a hamburger. In addition, a Primitivo is very fruit forward, so therefore it's going to pair very well with the sweetness of a lot of the toppings, such as ketchup and caramelized onions, for example. Now the next food we have uh, for today would be hot dogs. Once again, we don't know exactly where the hot dog came from or how it came into being, but we do know that it became famous during the World's Fair in Chicago and the World's Fair in St. Louis. Now the name of hot dog, once again, we're not really sure where that comes from either, but quite possibly at a New York Giants game around the year 1900, a vendor was selling what he called the Dachshund Sandwich and a cartoonist for the New York Post couldn't spell the word dachshund, so he just simply called it a hot dog. Now we're gonna be pairing our hot dog with a white wine from Northern Lazio. For those who do not know where Northern Lazio is, that's the region we are currently in, that's where Rome is located. And this here is a Gracchetto. So the reason why I chose this here for the hot dog is quite simply that it is loaded with a lot of fresh, vibrant acidity. And you want that acidity to cut through the fat, cut through the grease of a hot dog. In addition, this croquetto has a lot of big, bold flavors, which will match very well with the saltiness and the savoriness of a hot dog. And these two wines will actually go very well also with our potato salad, more so the white wine and then with our watermelon salad, the white wine will also pair very well. So what do you say, when I'm ready to give it all a try? Yeah, let's give it a try, Tony. Okay, so we got, uh, looks like the Marines are prepared a, a plate for each of us here. So uh, let's start with the hot dog first. Okay. So then the Gurketto here is for you. It's completely okay to serve a wine in a plastic cup at a cookout. You don't have to worry about that, it's not a faux pas. In fact, it's regularly done here throughout Italy at any outdoor party. What do you think? Good, really good. That works very, very well. It really cuts through that fat, that greasiness. It goes very, very well. Complements that hot dog very well. Who would have thought pairing an Italian wine with a hot dog? But it works, let me tell you, it does. Let's give that hamburger a try now. Now with the red wine. It works as well. That's that's really good, yeah. It goes very, very, very well. I'm loving this. Well, that brings us to the end of today's video. So until next time, cheers. And happy, happy 4th, 4th of July. July. Happy 4th of July.